this free photo exhibition in Nairobi is making Kenyans question just how much they know about their homeland. Many of the photos are images of beautiful nature spots and wild animals, while some show a grittier side. We're trying to get to external audiences to maybe change their view or their idea of what they think Africa is or Kenya is in particular because of last year, but also to internal audiences and telling people there's more to your country, uh, there's more to your region than what you think or that what you uh, were raised to believe. Uh, go out there and see for yourself, engage with people like us, uh, consume our content, but go out and do it yourself as well. Kenya's image and tourism numbers took several hard hits after a series of terrorist attacks that brought the tourism industry to its knees. Portraits were a big focus for the collection. The photographers embarked on showcasing culture and traditional communities without stereotypes. Our brief is Africa. Um, our brief is taking people and showing them in a dignified, uh, respectful and uh, insightful way. Um, we are sick and tired of seeing stereotypical photos of Africans. We want to show people going about their lives in a triumphant way. You know, you're not, you, we see people in, yes, in some difficult circumstances, but it's not my head down waiting to die or waiting for someone to come and help me. The exhibition drew a healthy number of photography enthusiasts, art lovers, as well as curious onlookers who say they appreciated the challenge to see Kenya for themselves. These are things that we should explore in our films. These are things that we should showcase to the world. And I'm liking that Beyond is, is an opportunity for the world and for Kenyans to just view ourselves in perspectives that we rarely do. The exhibition dubbed Beyond has been going on for two weeks since the start of April and is a collection of work gathered last year. The photographs are also on sale for a hundred US dollars each with part of the proceeds going to the hunger-free organization. Maria Galang, CCTV.